Hello guys, it's Lucas again. What we're going to talk about today is the AI coding. And what is AI coding and what, why you should use it? Um, like you know, with the higher resolution cameras, there's a much more bandwidth required. Um, and that comes with the much more storage that you need for those cameras that need to be saved. The picture needs to be saved. Um, so in that case, what, what, what is the solution to that? Like you know, there's already a huge improvement with the latest 265 h265 compression and um, in the case if you like to reduce the bandwidth i would definitely recommend to to use the h265 compression uh, but on top of that we have this new technology uh, in the we sense recorders and uh, ip cameras um, that will allow you to reduce that bandwidth even more but uh, what is the um, the a code and doing is actually um, looking at the object and just trying to figure out if that is a um, human or a vehicle. If that is a human or vehicle, then it's going to give a bit more details and a better picture quality for that object. So even if when, the, when the object is moving, the system is going to try to figure out in what direction it's going and try to always provide enough bandwidth for that exact object. Uh, but for the camera where everything else is static and it doesn't move, it doesn't need to have that much detail anymore. It doesn't have to provide that much bandwidth anymore. So this is the way the camera is looking at the picture, is overviewing the whole thing, and it's trying to figure out any human or a vehicle to provide a bit better quality for that particular object. And the rest of it is just the background. So doing this, the camera it's actually saving lots of bandwidth and you can save up to 50 percent um, of the bandwidth compared to just regular h265 compression so imagine you have like one terabyte hard drive and you have four cameras with a high resolution where before you could only have like maybe 15 days of storage now you can pretty much get a whole month by just using the new ai coding um, so that's a huge improvement and you're never going to lose uh, picture quality, especially for those targets that's human and vehicle, because that's what you're usually, you know, looking at. That's what you usually um, try to, you know, look in the, in the playback to, to find out what happened with the person or the vehicle. So that's where you can actually um, improve the hard drive space. The other thing is, once we have the camera um, set to the H.265 compression with the AI coding, uh, of course, this system will be fully compatible with any other Tor party system as well, because it's still in H.265 compression. It all happens within the camera itself or within the uh, XVR. This feature, it's really cost effective because it allows you to save a bit more storage and obviously you don't have to spend that much money on a new hard drive. Okay, so let me uh, show you where to change those settings if you don't have them changed already in your camera. So uh, by default, this setting should be enabled um, so you can um, you can save some uh, bandwidth straight away. All right, guys, we logged into the camera. So we'll go settings, camera and a video. What we have on the front is the encoding settings. So we find the same page in your recorder and xvr and vr uh, you will find this in camera and encoding settings and um, what we have here it's the h265 compression uh, with a 5 megapixel resolution 20 frames per second quite high all right but it's a constant bitrate and quite high uh, bitrate itself which is a 4 megabits per second so we can easily um, drop it down that bitrate to nearly 50 percent by just selecting different strategy. Uh, so we have the AI coding. We just select that, click save, and that's it. Like you should see straight away, it's 2,304 kilobits per second, which allow you to save nearly 50% of the bandwidth. Um, so that will now focus only on the human or the vehicle, give a bit more bit rate for those details um, of the object, but anything else in the background would be slightly lower bitrate so you save lots of storage uh, by just clicking a few buttons there so uh, you're welcome and i will see you in the next video all right take care bye